Okay. CEC 360 update. Jumbo Michael and Jumba, how are you? I'm gonna videotape your whole building. Okay. Here's the foyer or entryway filled with poles, hopefully to be sold soon. Uh, but there is that, and here is our entryway. I'm gonna walk down it and get a sense. I think about two meters wide, maybe a little more. And I think the intent is that maybe here between this section, you could put a desk facing out. So maybe from pole to here to make best use of space with a seat behind it, you could see folks coming in the doors um, in these areas. So entryway here. So imagine coming in for event, I arrive, could check in for the event here, and then I'm heading into the social hall. And so if we head into the social hall as an initial space to look at we're getting a sense here of the size and scope of it different vantage points here we are in front of a column looking at the stage which we think will be a sectional removable stage to give us flexibility so we can do different stage sizes and different points in the building so here's kind of at the column level Again, from the other side, just from here, in the corner, point of view, you go all the way to the back. And then again, the alternative option is that we um, line up chairs to minimize obstructed view positions, so maybe they're split down that column. Then, of course, if the garage doors are open, we've got three, four hundred in here. So that will be the approach, and I think here, if I can get past this, eight meters I think is about here. So this would be end of the sidewalk, so you still have a line of sight to the stage, and if you had speakers inside and on the back, you could still participate in the event inside of the building. Then you have maybe a meter for some seating, then the soccer pitch is 24 meters wide and then a five meter wide road and then about 18 meters to the fence line it's the vision so that's off the back and again if you had an event on the soccer pitch with either the patio or the balcony being the stage you have this view here to um, have this be the stage with the soccer pitch being the audience position with tents So that's off the back. On this side of the building, we have a boardroom. Seating for 15 to 20 around maybe a combination of four or six smaller tables that could be put into a board room table, but could also be used um, to form rows of tables that small classroom of 12 to 15 in here. Like that. Um, storage room. Um, here, tents, the stage, sectionals, chairs, tables, is the intent with an external exit that allows for a truck to back up for bringing or taking out um, stored materials. Um, this is um, staff office opportunity. Um, so you could have two or four 
uh, team members officing out of this location. Um, four meters by four meters. Um, so we can run some calculations on that. Um, here's the stairwell, which will come down in a few minutes, but this gives you a sense of this entry opening, decent size landing here, decent size stairs, but view um, out of this section, um, really strong. Um, back through the foyer area to the other side. Ramp up above, another staff office, three or four staff members here, so everyone has a desk. Server room locked off to the side. Server room for a fiber optic line, basic routers, electrical equipment. Conduit here goes up to the second floor. Um, these would be walled off except for maybe an AC grill covered unit. Um, for protecting equipment here, but fiber draw would come into this section. Staff office again. Staff office here. Kitchen here. So here's the kitchen space with an exit for cooking off not only the ramp but another four meters of sidewalk on the side. So if there is external cooking to be done, although there should be gas off the biodigester in the kitchen, if you had to do something outside, you could do it here. Make that available. Um, washrooms. sink in here as well. It's going to be a little bit tighter than originally anticipated. Uh, men's restroom. Walkway back. Women's restroom. Right now four stalls. I think they can get five in here plus the wash area. I'm going to invite them to also put a door there so that there is an external entrance to this washroom when the rest of the building is closed for outside events. So that's a need. Um, and then as we exit out this exit, there's also um, a bathroom for those with disabilities. That is here. That has an extra entrance. Um, so be an extra restroom here. In addition, we also have um, public latrines, um, which are seen <coughs> there. Out in front, so we still have access to those, which is really helpful. This is the ramp. Another thing's going to drop on my head here. It's okay to walk through. All right. Jumbo. All right. This is the ramp going up. Jumbo. Here's uh, an entryway uh, with access to the IT office. I think we keep a uh, window there for exchanging computers. This is a computer lab. Computer lab is here, seating 60 to 80. Good sized room, a lot of construction underway, putting beams up. The last place I'll head up is um, to the attic. This is where the water tank, the solar panels will be stored.
The library. A little hard to get a sense with the poles in the middle. You're getting a sense of the ceiling height here. It's four meters on top of that second beam. And then another meter and a half or two that's going up. Windows in the top of this, so that should be really positive. That's the overall library section. This is the terrace out front overlooking the road. Come through here and get a sense of the view. What that look like overlooking the area from the balcony. That's about a meter wide. This is about two, two and a half meters wide in this area. The seating, a 900 centimeter wall, a little less than a meter, about two and a half feet on the front for protection. Um, but no, um, you should be able to sit and look over the edge is the vision and the idea. That's the view from the terrace. From this side, we'll look at the balcony. Children's Library is here. This again, four meters by four meters in the tent here is books, seating, um, activities for, I don't know, one to six year olds. Um, being here in this space, have it blocked off from the rest of the library, so a door there that can make it a little bit more private for those kids and the rest of the library in case it might be a little bit noisier on this side. Again, this is the other half of the library. I think we've got four, eight, 12, 16, 20 meters by about 20 by 16, 20 by 20 um, through here. Um, that's four, eight, 12, 16. So 20 by 16 meters is essentially this kind of rectangle, a little bit narrower where the offices up there but that's essentially it these are the study rooms four meters by four meters four meter tall ceiling so high ceilings um, these are the individual study rooms and what those will look like they all look a lot the same but we'll step in and just give you a sense give you a sense of the view out the window be amazing for a sunset or a great place to study or meet and talk and collaborate individual study rooms four by four meters again the third study room then the librarian's office. Oh, I missed the IT office on the other side. Librarian's office here. Processing books, checking in and out. One of Aisha's main office with a pass-through window. Then a 
allows for um, books to be checked out through that window um, when in the office. And I forgot to walk into the IT office, so we're gonna make our way over there before we head down the stairs. here. See conduits in the corner bringing up a bunch of lines. We'll probably have electrical routers and stuff in here. Um, computer storage, etc. Kind of the mirror image of the librarian's office on this side. We'll probably close this off over here just for security reasons outside the work. Working on final details. What that will look like. But current state of the Canyon Keys Community Education Center. Looking amazing. Almost has reached its peak height on the sides it has. Um, in the middle it might be a little bit higher um, to support the main room here, but it's going to have an amazingly high ceiling here in the center. And it'll be a really compelling space, hopefully well ventilated, well lit, comfortable, productive, and positive. Here are the stairs, landing down the stairs that we looked at from below. Wide stairs, dropping down to the main floor. The intent is that these stairs can be widely used when the whole building is open, but if there's a conference on the main floor, we can direct all users of the second floor up the ramp externally and not impact the ground floor. So that should give us some flexibility. So. That is the Kenya Keys Community Education Center. We're super excited about the impact this can have on the community. We're proud of the work that our team and workers have done. We expect that it will continue to be a game changer in the community for the next decades. They tell me it's been built to a stand for 100 years. So we're optimistic it can do that. So that is the Kenya Keys Community Education Center. We could use ongoing support to get this to its finish line. It's getting really close, uh, but there's still plenty of work to do. Fortunately, the external construction is just about done, and then we can begin working on the roof and the inside. But we're super proud of it, super excited about it. We hope you can support us to take it to the finish line. Thanks to owners who've made this possible. All of you are amazing. This would change lives for decades into the future. So I hope you feel proud of, excited about, enthusiastic about, aspirational about what this will do. And we couldn't do it without you. So thank you.